What's up guys, uh, it's Zoomsides. Uh, today I'm actually going to be showing you how to install shaders for 1.6.2. Yes, I know, totally unoriginal, everybody's doing a video for this, but you know, I just thought I would show you the most amazing variation of the shaders pack, which is the uh, very high ultra depth of feel shader pack, which as you can see there, everything around where my center focal point, which pretty much turns blurry. Um, I mean, it's kind of really cool. It gives you a really cool perspective when you're like fighting mobs or uh, running for your life or just uh, playing around with friends. I mean, it's, it's really cool. It gives it a really nice change to, um, to Minecraft. And honestly... It, it looks quite great either for cinematics or just for random playing around and having fun uh, I will warn you it's very intensive on your 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 computer so I do recommend having the absolute best computer that you can have um, of course that costs money but you know oh well to get the good stuff you gotta you gotta pay so uh, I'm actually going to jump in here and I'm going to give you all the links down below in the description. Uh, so just go ahead and download them ahead of time and keep up and before long you'll have shaders. Wow. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> I got I to gotta move. Okay. So down below I will provide you with three links. One will go to the Minecraft Forge Downloader website, which will have every list of every version of uh, Minecraft Forge Loader. I will also give you a link to the Kyrillix's GLS shader mod, uh, which will have the download link like so, where you can either download link one or download link two, depending on whichever downloading website you prefer. And then the third link will take you to the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders, where you can pick up not only the Ultra DFO, which is the depth of field, field um, shader pack that I just showed you but he also has different versions of it as well so if you don't have a computer that is absolutely beastly he does have a light version which runs very optimized it works very well for most rigs um, if you think your computer can handle it you can start going into the standard or even go into ultra um, ultra no blur is basically as you move your camera quickly across the screen it won't actually give you a blurring effect when you move your camera really quickly now the ultra motion blur when you do move your camera pan very very quickly it will actually blur everything just like the depth of field did when I looked closely at someone's face so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna minimize this here and you're not supposed to see this whoops okay so down below, uh, as you saw, I already showed you where you can get the links. I'm going to put the websites. That way you can read all the good stuff or decide what you want to get instead of direct linking you. I'm sorry. Um, but once you have everything like your mod for your Minecraft Forge loader, you're going to double click that and go to install client and hit OK. And there you go. And then it will give you a successfully installed client. As you saw, that was only a couple of seconds that time. So <laughs> let's reopen Minecraft again. Go to Edit Profile. Go all the way down. Now you can name your profile whatever you want. You can keep your standard username. You can make it whatever you want. Just for this, I'm just going to keep it as is. Scroll all the way down until you see Release 1.6.2 Forge 9.10.1849. So make sure you click that. Go to Save Profile. And then go ahead and hit Play. Just to make sure it actually runs and works properly. And as you can see there, it says Minecraft Forge. So you can go ahead and hit mods, and then as you see, it already has all three essential mods for the mod pack. So go ahead and exit out of that. Now what you're going to need to do is go to your Minecraft, your Minecraft, your dot Minecraft directory. I'm sorry, which is normally in your percent app data percent, and then so on and so forth in roaming, and then you see dot Minecraft. Well, I have a shortcut to mine, so it doesn't matter. Now what you're going to see is you're going to have your mods, and you're going to have resource packs, which resource packs, as you know, are your your uh, texture packs. I will provide you guys with the texture packs that I use in this, so I will also give you a download link to that. And as for mods, once you have your shader mod, just go ahead and drag and drop that into your mods folder. That's all you have to do. Now I also have backup mods, don't pay any attention to that, you don't need that at all. Just drop your, your shaders mod core into your mods folder and you're all good. Now the last thing you need to do. And because I already have a folder already made, 
it's not a uh, not a big deal. You need to make a new folder within your dot Minecraft and label it shader uh, shader packs. And within that shader packs, you're gonna drop every single shader pack that you download off of the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders website, or I'm sorry, form link or website, depending on which whatever one you go to. And every single shaders pack you're ever going to use is going to go into your shaders pack folder. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to head and reopen Minecraft now. And it should theoretically work properly. Hopefully. Let's go ahead and run this. Cross your fingers. Cross your, oh, no crashes. It says four mods loaded. So if we go to mods, it should say GLS shaders mod. Now, unfortunately, GLS has not updated and optimized yet to run with optifine um of course optifine would make shaders run so much more better you get so much more fps but unfortunately it has not been updated yet so let's go ahead and jump back in here um just for the sake of purpose i'm going to show you the dungeon realm server now as you see it's not turned on quite yet so what i'm going to do is now if you hit escape and then go to video or if you hit escape you'll see your shaders icon now and within here you'll see all your shaders pack so I'm gonna go to my ultra DFO and then hit done now this is default minecraft with the DFO pack it's pretty freaking awesome so <laughs> now I'm gonna switch over to my resource pack which just definitely makes this even better um, now the texture pack I am using is a theories ascended which I will give you guys a download link in the very end of this video or I might put it in the video or it might just pop up on the screen anytime now or you could just use the download link at the bottom if you haven't already downloaded it well that's all you guys need uh, it pretty much works